Hi again, we are here back with the second part of the video for colorizer, filtering by value, creating filters on the fly and uh, working with values. So very often when uh, creating, for example, scoping drawings, um, users need to create a set of filters that will colorize the um, elements based on their value, for example, fire rating or type mark. This is a tool that helps you do that. First, uh, you can select a category and you can uh, select multiple categories all at once if needed. For this example, I will just pick walls. And then from a list of parameters, you can choose the one that you need. Uh, currently, this uh, tool only supports built-in and shared parameters. Uh, project parameters are not supported. I will choose type mark and proceed by creating the filters. So how does this look in the visibility settings? Wow. Here, the filters have been added. Um, they are not part of the view template, which is a curious scenario, but it does happen. Um, so there is a view template that is applied to this view that does not contain um, any of the colorful filters, but they have, however, been applied to this view. Um, so if you do want to include them in the template, uh, you can disable the template and then recreate the template from the current view. And yeah. name it wall type filters, for example. This template will now include all of the filters that have been created. Another handy tool that lets you control the filters um, is the one that lets you uh, remove or disable the filters in bulk in the current view um, or revert the change and enable all the filters. So for example, if I click on disable filters for this view, all of the filters applied will be disabled. Enable reverses that action and remove filters, removes all of the filters in this view. All right, so that's the reset filters, which is similar to the reset overrides, only applied to filters, and it should allow you to in bulk uh, toggle all the filters on the view template on and off, which is very useful by, its, by itself. So another small tool that's been rolled out inside of our toolbar, which you should be used. Tool that can help uh, streamline uh, the process of creating legends uh, based on the values of your filters. So previously we've created a view template with a couple of wall, a couple of um, a list of colors that represent each of the wall types. You can use that view template as base for a legend uh, using the legend from filters tool. For this, you would need to select the source, uh, which can be either a view or a view template. Sorry, this is not the one, this is the one. Select the text style, pick the color source. It can be either projection or cut color. And um, you can also uh, define the sizes of your boxes. Then click anywhere where you want to place your legend. Wow. And this is the result. Yeah. Another um, thing about this tool is that it is it does not create uh, different field regions for every single box. Uh, this is again not to contaminate your beautiful uh, template. Um, these boxes are just a random field region that are overridden with the same color value as the filter. Yeah. Um, this is something that you need to be aware if you plan on copying this over to another view, um, the overrides will not be preserved. But PyRevit does have a handy tool for that uh, that lets you match um, these two 
Sorry. Nice setting, so you can use that together. In the next part, we are going to show you a couple of updates on tools that uh, deal with legends. Uh, so there have uh, recently been a couple of updates for the list walls uh, tool, which uh, now works both for um, legends and in model view. Uh, for legends, it will create legend components in your legend, and for uh, floor plan, it will actually create um, a list of your. Um, it will create model walls, uh, which can be handy for. Uh, project templates and maybe less for actual projects. So I'm going to show you how it looks in a legend. Um, as for all um, tools that place legend components, it does need an initial source to copy. Um, this can be any legend component. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to drop a chair, which I'm going to later delete. And now uh, you have a little bit more options, which are available by clicking Shift. Um, shout, shout out to John Mark, who really helped us with this. Uh, help develop this tool and edit a couple of very handy uh, options. Uh, you can specify the um, wall length and the offset between the individual components as well as the textiles. And now you can also include the information about the wall buildup, which is very handy when describing um, the walls. Uh, you can click on the tool and then click in the position where you want to start placing your legend components. And this is how the list looks like. Uh, so it will also include all of the individual layers, search thicknesses, the total thickness of the wall. I can uh, quickly show how it looks in if you try to use it in a floor plan. It does a similar thing. It places the text. Uh, I think there's this code box applied in here, so I cannot see the walls. But if you go to 3D, here's a very long list of all the wall types that are used in this project which can be handy to preview and visualize. And lastly, um, uh, there's a new tool that lets you um, populate the legend with all the elements of uh, the chosen category. So again, we will need a source, any legend component to place on this view, and click on the Populate Legend tool and select the uh, category that you want to showcase, for example, Windows. You can select which uh, view direction you want to show. I'm going to pick front and click on the uh, where you want to place um, when you on the point where you want to start placing um, the legend components. So this is the list of all the windows in your project. They are grouped by family. So these are all the windows of the same family, spaced a little bit between them. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I hope you like the tool. Um, just let me remind you one thing, which is if you already have the um, plugin installed, the way to up update it to see this um, new feature is to go to back to Pi Revit and use the update button, which should in in one go update all your extensions and Pi Revit itself. It's just as easy as that. If you don't have our tool yet, it's available from extensions and by Helizer, and you should be able to install it from here. Mine is already installed, uh, but you can do it as well. I think that's it from us. Thank you so much for joining and see you next time. Bye.